Hello, it's Easy Target coming back at you with another Diablo 3 Challenge Rift video. This is week 65. And as you can see on screen, we have a Necromancer. And if you haven't yet, this is going to be another pizza challenge. The last few weeks I've been doing the challenge. If you can beat my time, you can win a pizza. Uh, you have as many attempts as you want. You just have to have the, the last photo uploaded, beat my time by the end of the week, uh, 3 p.m. Central Time on Monday, right before reset. Um, then you'll get the uh, free pizza coupon for a Screaming Sicilian. I do as well have the chance to update my times. I'll post my updated times on my Twitter account, EasyTarget23. But other than that, if you haven't followed the channel yet, please subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. It would really help me out. Let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, starting off, we have Bone Armor, Devour, Blood Rush, Simulacrum, Bone Spikes, Skeletal Mage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the passives. Extended Servitude. Life from Death. Overwhelming Essence. Final Service. And looking at the gear, it is the Tragul set, which increases the damage of your life spending abilities by 3300 damage. But other than that, let's go ahead and take a look at it and see what we can do. Alright, and this is how I'm going to use the abilities here. Uh, first off, you want to get into a group and you want to go ahead and get your bone armor up. Uh, you want to keep that up to about 10 stacks, as, mu as much stacks as possible. Uh, whenever that goes down, you are just a piece of paper inside the rift here. Uh, you're a piece of paper with 10 stacks, but 10 stacks you have a chance to survive. Um, and then your devour, that's going to be automatically going just because of some gear that you have on. Your blood rush, you're going to use to try to stay away from the projectiles or move you through the level. I would save it for uh, getting away from the projectiles because if like one or two of them hit you, you will be down, even with the stacks of uh, bone armor up. Uh, and then you have the simulacrum, that's going to help you survive and get through the levels a little bit faster as well. Um, I didn't use it that much whenever I pushed through my rift, uh, but if you're using that, whenever it's off of a cooldown, it'll help you out a little bit. Then we got the bone spikes, that'll just get your essence back for whenever you need to pop your uh, skeletal mages. Uh, you don't want to spam your skeletal mages because that uses more of your blood. You don't want to spam your mages because it will uh, eat away at your health and it could bring you down to uh, dangerous levels of health. And other than that, what you're going to be doing is just popping or getting your resources up and then popping your mages before you get into the groups because if you don't uh, get your mages up before you get into the groups, you're just going to die. Uh, so you don't want to push into a group and then pop mages. You want to push, put mages out before you push the groups. Uh, or maybe you can go up into them, you can get your bone armor and you can back out with a blood rush, but uh, just start getting those mages up as soon as you can. Um, you want to keep the mages up in between you and the enemies. Uh, and then you just want to dodge the um, projectiles coming in because if you got the arrows, the little orbs, uh, they'll hit you before you even know it and then you're dead. Uh, I did die a few couple times whenever I was doing my run, but I ultimately was able to do the run. And hopefully you guys can do the same. So let's go ahead and jump into the rift and see how to do it. All right, starting off with this rift, you want to go up in there. You want to get your bone armor just to go ahead and get a little bit more protection. And then you want to get those mages up as soon as you can. Uh, we want to get those bone spikes just to keep your resources coming in. And then just go ahead and get those mages up. Uh, whenever if something like that happens and they spawn in on you, get that blood rush and get out of there. If uh, arrows are coming at you, uh, orbs are coming at you, just get out of there. Use your blood rush, get out of there. Um, I don't do it perfect all the time, so just keep an eye out for the projectiles. Try to dance around them. Uh, then your ma mages will clean up and eventually kill the targets that you want to kill. Uh, so if you're just casting right around them, the elites, uh, they should go for the elites pre pretty quickly. But um, other than that, you just want to kind of uh, stay behind the mages so they can do their thing. And you should be good to go. Uh, and then don't forget about uh, refreshing that uh, bone armor. Try to keep it to 10 as, uh, as much as you can. If you don't have a bone armor, you definitely want to make sure you're not in the group like I was just there. Um, and just stay back uh, behind the mages is the safest place. But if you are around corpses and stuff, that will uh, devour automatically for you and you'll get health back. Um, and that's just about it. Just collect those orbs to keep on pushing through the level. And hopefully these um, elite placements with the maps helped you out. And this is easy target. I'm out. Good luck with the contest.
Oh, I was nearly killing. 